Take off your helmet. Okay, okay. Yeah. Annoying. It's gross. Just take it off. Welcome to the DSL Engineer Report. Week of September 26th. I have a question. What's cosplay? I don't know what cosplay is, but I do know somebody who knows what cosplay is. Who? Ivory. Who's Ivory? She's oh, like, that girl in our class. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. Yeah, Ivory. Okay. <laughs> so remember when we were at Comic-Con and we kept hearing the word cosplay? Yeah. So I found out what it is. It is... is it is dressing up and pretending to be a fictional character. Wait, so cosplay is costume play? Yeah, that's what I meant. Wait, but they dress up throughout the whole year. So not only on Halloween? No, not even, they even dress up on a Monday. What? Ever, 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 ever. Hi, I'm Aurora from the DSL Engineer Report, and you are? My name is Jacqueline Renee Cosplay. And what are you dressed up as? I'm Hawk Girl from DC Comics. Cool. I've been cosplaying for three years come this November. So, really cool. how long have you been dressing up? Three years. That's awesome. <laughs> Hello, I'm Award from the DSL Engineer Report, and you are? Matt Hillier. Matt Hillier? And what are you dressed up as? I'm dressed as Jake Sully from the movie Avatar. Cool. How long have you been dressing up? I've been doing costuming for four years now. I started when I lived in Atlanta. That's cool. Have you dressed up in the same character? I do all kinds of characters. I do Superman and Hercules and the Green Arrow and the little old guy from the movie Up. Cool. How long have you been dressing in this costume? I've been doing the Avatar for three years. It takes me four hours to put on all this makeup. Oh, wow. I'm Natalie from the DSL Engineer Reports, and I'm here with, um, who's your Elfie Aubrey. Okay, what kind of character are you trying to go for? I am Scarecrow, gender bent Scarecrow from Batman, from Arkham City. Mm-hmm. And, um, have you always liked Batman? I, I used to watch Batman when I was so young, like, tiny, and I always loved, like, Poison Ivy, but then I was like, Scarecrow is creepy, awesome, he's even better. He's like, I'm better. Do you like Why'd you pick that costume? I don't know, what that costume? Because I like it. I like it too. Just so you know, my costume is way better. <laughs> My name is Mrs. McCausland. I teach music. Today I am here at Della Lindley Elementary School, but on some of the other days of the week, like Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I'm at Bella Vista teaching music to children in uh, second, third, fourth, and fifth grade. And I wanted to know how long have you been teaching music? I have been teaching music for almost 20 years. And did you always like music? I always liked music. Did you ever have any teachers that were when I was a child, my mom sang with me all the time, so I learned all kinds of nice songs. We sang in the car. We were that kind of family. What is the hardest thing to teach, do you think? Or Yeah, what is the hardest thing you think was to teach? Probably um, teaching some instruments is a little difficult. Like reading music? Reading music is not, it's, it's not that hard to do, but learning to read music and to play the instrument learn where your fingers go all at the same time, that's a little bit challenging. It's not really that hard to teach, it's a little bit challenging to learn when you're learning to play an instrument. That's probably one of the harder things to do. But it's one of those things that is really, really wonderful once you've learned to do it because it lasts with you for your whole life. Could you introduce yourself? I'm Carrie Britton. I'm the new physical education specialist here for Monday and Tuesday. Have you taught here before? I surprisingly did my student teaching here a uh, very, very long time ago, I guess 24 years ago. But before that I was substituting as a, I was a substitute teacher and I was working here about four days a week. So it seemed like I was on staff, but I really wasn't. So tell our viewers something we might find surprising about you. Well, 
something that might be a little surprising. I am a war veteran. I'm a veteran of Operation Iraqi Freedom and Operation Enduring Freedom with the United States Navy. The other thing that's a little surprising is I am a very, very serious hiker. I hike around this area in Desert Hot Springs and I go to the Grand Canyon every single year and hike to the bottom and up. And it's a round trip of about 24 miles. Who is she? Who is she? Who is she? It's me, Jessica. Yeah, you can be the greatest, you can be the best, you can be the King Kong banging on your chest. You can beat the world, you can beat the war, you can talk the guy go banging on his door. You can throw your hands up, you can beat the clock, yeah. you can move a mountain, you can break rocks. Well, magic trick. Easy. Now you see it. Now you don't. Uh, uh, uh. Something risky. Eating warheads! Just eat as many warheads as you possibly can without making a sour face or spitting them out. Thank you for watching the DSO Engineering Report. Go Team Clinton! Go Team Trump! Clinton is gonna win! Trump is gonna win. You know what? Let's just discuss this.